All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this quick and easy isometric typo here in Illustrator. I'm going to type in number two. I'm going to go with the inter black right click, create outlines. Let's go to the effects, 3D materials, 3D classic, select extrude and bevel. And we're going to go to the position isometric left, click OK. So this is the number two that we're going to work with. And now we're going to create that specific pattern on it with dots. Select the circle. Let's create a small circle, expand shape, press and hold alt, drag it up, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down. And we're going to blend it, select both, go to object, blend, make. Let's double click on the blend, select specify steps, decrease the number. I'm going to go with 11, click OK, and I'm going to press and hold Alt, create a duplicate, and I'm going to position it somewhere here. I'm going to select both, press Ctrl G to group them, and now I'm going to go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. I'm going to add some copies, and we're going to increase the horizontal until you're going to see some space in between. This is pretty good. Click OK. And now I'm going to select it, object, expand appearance. And we're going to need to make a symbol out of this. So we're going to go to the symbols. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows and select symbols. Drag and drop the symbols right in here. Click OK. Now you can delete this. Now we're going to select the number two. And let's go to the properties. And here you can see the effects 3D extrude and bevel. Click. Now the options are going to pop up. And we're going to go here to the map art. And here we got one out of 13. So I'm going to click on this right arrow. And this is going to search for the shapes for the extrusion, for example. So this is the side where I'm going to put the first dotted pattern. So I'm going to go to the symbols, none, and switch it to the new symbol that we created. Click on it. And it's going to position it on. I'm going to press and hold shift, scale it down. And I'm going to rotate it. Press and hold shift. There you go press and hold shift scale it and I also going to put it in the opposite direction why not and this is how it looks let's select it go to object expand appearance right click on group right click on group and now we can deselect these areas but as you can see they are connected together and now we're going to need to right click release clipping mask and everything is separated now I'm going to need to unite these but first I'm going to need to select these patterns and press and hold shift select all of it I'm going to bring them out like this I'm going to select these shapes select both because they're separate let's go to pathfinder click on unite I'm going to do the same thing with this unite it and now I'm going to recolor them and I'm going to put the dots back where they belong as you can see we don't have anything here select right click arrange sent back and now we're going to make the lines like the line tool make sure that you're on the stroke swap it from and i'm going to drag a line like this press and hold alt drag it to the right and i'm going to decrease this one for example to one or under one and the left one i'm going to increase the stroke thickness quite a bit select both go to object blend make double click on the blend tool select specify steps increase the number make it nice and dense click ok and i'm going to recolor the stroke make sure that the stroke is on the top and just change up the color and i'm going to select this number to press and hold alt to create a new copy drag it to the right also press shift and now we're going to need to bring these lines to the bottom so right click on the lines arrange send it back i also going to select the line go to object expand click ok and let's go to object again expand again click ok and now we're going to go to object compound pad click on make and we're going to recolor the fill again and now we can right click and we got the option make clipping mask and just bring these together. And there you go. And that's how you make it. Thanks for watching.